there, Anna Scheller here with the last of my series of videos on listening. If you are joining me live, thank you so very much. And if you are on the replay, I really appreciate it. Go ahead, make comments as you feel necessary, feel, see fit. I'd love to read the comments at the end. It's really amazing to me. And um, I have to tell you that most of, my, most of my motivation for doing these videos comes from you who listen and who comment in the space below. So thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. So I've been doing a series of videos on listening and today we're going to talk about how to listen. I'm going to do this a little different than I've been doing the videos. I'm going to read to you. Uh, I've been taking this out of the book. Becoming an, a Person of Influence by John Maxwell. And <clears throat> so I really felt that to conclude, I wanted to read what John says to do. And then I'm going to expound on just, excuse me, two or three. Two or three of the ideas that he has. So he says, number one, look at the speaker. Number two, don't interrupt. Number three, Focus on understanding. Number four, determine the need in the moment. Number five, check your emotions. Number six, suspend your judgment. Number seven, sum up at major intervals. Number eight, ask questions for clarity. And number nine, Always make listening your priority. So if you have some questions or you want to write those down, I encourage you to uh, rewind the video and stop it, pause it, and write those notes down. Again, you could get the book yourself. But I want to focus on just two or three of those points. Um, first of all, one of the points is that we need to look at the speaker and not interrupt. And that can be kind of hard for us. It's so easy to talk over people. I was in a sales conversation with someone one time and uh, I was actually there as an observer because I was learning about some aspect of sales and I noticed that the salesperson kept interrupting the lady we were talking to and it kind of, it rubbed me the wrong way. And I know if it rubbed me the wrong way, it rubbed the young lady the wrong way. Because if we're interrupting, then we're saying that our opinion's more important. Here's a way to not interrupt. Wait till somebody's done speaking and then count to three. One, two, three. That will usually give them plenty of time to think if they've, they're done or they're just taking a break to think. So, practice that. Practice the pause. One, two, three. Um, next, I want to, you know, we focus on understanding, but I, I want to also encourage you to determine the need in the moment. Now, what that means is a lot of times people will say things that really has more to do with how they're feeling than what they're really saying. Uh, earlier, my, I shared with you in a previous video how my daughter had called me and she was, she wanted information from me. What the need in the moment was, she just needed someone to listen and let her think about how she was going to handle her situation. The need in the moment was not to get information or advice from me, although that's what she thought she wanted. Her need in the moment was to be able to talk her way through what she was thinking, hear herself, and then make her own decisions. Sometimes when somebody's calling you or, or you're calling on someone, they're just having a rotten day. Maybe the need in the moment is not for you to sell something. Maybe the need in the moment is just to share that you understand that you can see that they're frustrated. You can tell they're having a bad day. So the need in the moment, and that requires a great deal of listening, and it requires 
what I want to say is the last point, and that's to set aside your emotions. Uh, I, I, I do sales. I do sales every day. And if I'm in a financial crunch, it's really, really hard not to be focused on my need, my need for money. And then if they say something, if they bring up an objection, I can feel threatened. I can be scared. And I can't really focus on the individual. So what I've had to learn to do is recognize when that happens. It's going to happen. You're going to have those moments where you're not going to be the perfect salesperson. You're going to have those moments when uh, you're going to be struggling or you're going to be, oh, what do I want to say? When you're going to have emotions that you think you shouldn't have, the key, recognize those emotions. Say, oh, that's just an emotion. And then get back to the listening, get back to really hearing, to get to the need in the moment, to really pause and not interrupt. Now, I hope these series of videos have been very helpful for you. They've been really helpful for me. Next week, I'm going to start a new series of videos, and I'm going to be talking about the second fatal mistake that we make, and that's giving too much information when we talk to people. So join me next week. I look forward to speaking with you then. And thank you for joining me. If you're on the replay, do like my Facebook page. Go to facebook.com forward slash Anna for your success. That's Anna with two N's, the number for your success. I enjoy being with you during these times. And let me know what you're getting from this. Comment in the space below.